All right, welcome back, everybody. This is uh, Reliable Lawrence from Big Mama's Hot Dogs, BigMama'sHotDogs.com. Today, uh, we're over here at the blacksmith shop uh, where we build parts, custom parts for hot dog carts and uh, trailers. We do all kind of welding work, and uh, we got the owner himself. Uh, Helping us do some modifications on one of Big Mama's hot dog carts. And we'll be back to talk to him in just a second. You see that part right there? Now this one. But how are you gonna want this one? When, uh, that, that's 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 perfect right there. I would say you. like at least higher. The higher the better because yeah, because you have, have good stability at the here. bottom. Yeah. And then and then this part is gonna keep it from from being like top heavy. Hold oh, the burner up on top. Put put it right there. That was uh, Santi. He's the owner of the blacksmith shop. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get him to give me an interview before this is over with. Go ahead, tack it right there. So, uh, sir, now, now, what did you say your name was, sir? Santi. Santi from uh, the blacksmith shop. The blacksmith shop. Now, you do all the custom work for Big Mama's hot dogs and a host of other people that have all kind of stuff, even the city, the state, and and the feds too, don't you? Yeah, custom fabrications for for everything. Okay. So, explain to me uh, uh, or to the people, Santi, what you just now did for well, Big Mama. Here we're changing the burner on. On uh, on one of uh, one of Lawrence's cards, mm -hmm. the burner wasn't uh, strong enough. It wasn't putting out enough fire. Okay. So we have this other burner now that's going to be putting out more fire mm -hmm. to the uh, um, steamer. To the steamer. Mm -hmm. As but now we have to just fabricate a mounting bracket for mm -hmm. it, so it'll be on the cart. And uh, so what we decided to do was use some flat bar. Mm -hmm. and uh, just some square tubing to hold up the burner and uh, what you see here is just a support that's going to keep it to the wall mm -hmm. of the cart so that as he's traveling and hitting bumps on the road um, these screws down here that we're going to mount won't loosen up okay. this will give it stability from uh, from rocking you know left and right and it'll keep the keep the keep the burner in place. In, in place, yeah. Right, and that keeps the the orifice from the back from moving around yeah, and that, that developing a gas, gas leak. Yeah, that doesn't let your gas line here tweak or yeah. anything. Yeah. You know, the, the more stable this base is, the longer life you're going to get out of the burner too, because you're not going to be breaking parts on it. Okay. Well, now, Santi, if if somebody wanted to get in touch with you uh, about getting some custom work done, what what number should they call? Um. Well, you can email us to the blacksmith shop at hotmail.com okay or they can call us here direct our number here is 951-683-0273 uh, you can ask for me Santi or my other fabricator there his name is Carbo Carbo He's, okay uh, our that's right my hand man hand fabricator also here okay so you can contact us anytime and what, what, what days and hours are you open uh, Monday through Friday uh -huh. 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. we're here okay and then they can email you 24 hours a day yeah. right Absolutely. All right, thanks, Santi. We appreciate you doing All a right, good let's job go for us. This puppy on so here we are now. We got the thing sitting in here. So how how does it actually work, Santi? Okay, so first we're gonna mount it in the back. If you if you see back here the bracket we just made, uh -huh. we're gonna mount that back there first. Okay. Onto the wall of the cart. Okay. Then 
that'll give us our level for the burner mm -hmm. and we already have our height with the legs that we fabricated okay so after you mount the back bracket then these other mounting holes that you see here mm -hmm. are just going to stabilize it from from, from moving, moving back and around. forth and that's it you got the height to mm -hmm. the steamer here mm -hmm. and then your burner's in place mm -hmm. all you got to do is just Move. relocate your lines mm -hmm. and uh you ready to go? All right. Thanks, Santi. I appreciate that, man. Okay. We're back at the shop now, uh, Big Mama's Commissary. And uh, as you know, we just had a modification done to a burner uh, for one of our carts. Uh, all the carts are here. We're back in, inside the commissary. Everybody's gone all the work is done. And uh, what we didn't discuss was uh, uh, since we made the... Uh, the modifications for the uh, burner out of metal uh, we didn't discuss the rust factor while we were at uh, the blacksmith shop but here's the burner that he fabricated for us and got it set up and ready to install but the cost of the rust factor the burner being in close proximity to water it's a lot of condensation uh, uh, could cause a rust problem uh, and so what we're going to do uh, to prevent that from happening to us is that we're going to first spray it with some uh, uh, undercoat uh, spray paint they call it a sealer and then we're going to go ahead and spray it with the silver spray paint and uh, when we get finished and get this all dried up and everything that'll take care of the rust factor uh, after we install the, the new burn. This is the primer coat it's a white color uh, they do have various colors of primer. Uh, we chose the white so that when we spray it with the silver color, it'll show up a lot better. Okay, we got the primer coat on. It's uh, fully primed and we're just going to let it dry. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And while that's drying, uh, we'll stop the camera and come back for the next uh, application. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, we've got the uh, propane burner installed now. Uh, and it's all screwed in tight. But actually, uh, uh, as a special note, I just wanted to point out, as you can see where the screws are, there's, uh, there's two screws right there. And there's a place for two more screws. Uh, that are not in there uh, as the uh, blacksmith told me to do uh, but actually when I was trying to put those screws in there I noticed that uh, uh, when you're drilling into uh, uh, sheet metal it, it's actually a, a lot more difficult than it would be if I was actually drilling into metal or something like that so uh, as you can see it's all painted up uh, one more note, you can see it's all looking at scraggly right there, and that's because uh, I thought the paint was all the way dry, but it actually wasn't. One more reason for, uh, you know, calling in the experts and getting them to do the job and, and getting it done uh, saves all this problem right here. So we got to spray a little bit more paint on here and probably take it back to the blacksmith and have them add those other two screws but it's in here it's stable and strong as you can see it won't move uh, and that's what we need uh, to get this burner up and running correctly as you can see the lines and everything from the other burner are still connected uh, we're going to move those probably tomorrow uh, doesn't seem like we're going to have to do any big adjustments aside from moving the uh, pilot over to the new burner but the uh, the gas line uh, at the end, there's an orifice right there. That's called an orifice that goes right into the gas hole uh, and lets the gas into the line so it can actually uh, heat up the steamer. Uh, that line right there is going to have to be extended. Okay. Uh, as an added note, uh, we finally uh, got the line switched over on the uh, hot dog cart that we created. The... Uh, the uh, the new burner stand for and here's the, here's the uh, where the old this is the old burner right here and then here's the new burner and we moved the lines from here to here and uh, we're going to test out the system and see if it works here the way we do that we're going to take this little pilot button and push that down uh, and then light the pilot over here so here we go I'm going to light the pilot there's the pilot 
pilot it's lit real strong flame kind of a little too strong for me but uh, strong enough to get the job done and then we release the pilot and then turn on the flame okay. we got a little extra flame there but what we do is just back off and turn it back on and there you go uh, you can see it pretty blue flame the new system is up and running